Hi Aries, you need to know this right now for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for March the 13th through March the 14th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon. For Aries, clarify the moon. For Aries, clarify the moon. For Aries, it is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aries, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. Clarify the page of wands for Aries. It is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change and your luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aries. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aries. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much. 
money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of, or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Aries. Clarify the devil for Aries. Clarify the devil for Aries. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the water element, the air element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Aries. Clarify the magician for Aries. Clarify the magician for Aries. Aries, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Now, Aries, you can tell me that something is toxic here, that, you know, some type of secret came out. There was a cutting off. We could have found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion here. But maybe you're wanting to change that and manifest you guys reuniting. Aries, you can tell me that something is toxic here, that a secret came out. You found passionate messages. You cut them off. And now you're trying to manifest going back with someone from your past here, Aries. Hmm. We'll see. Aries, you have the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There is no movement, but you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Aries, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. However, you could be changing your perspective here. Clarify the hangman for Aries. Clarify the hangman for Aries. Clarify the hangman for Aries. It is clarified with the eight of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another, or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Now, you can tell me that you guys went stagnant really quickly here. You can tell me that you're stagnant because you guys had this heated discussion or argument, or you're stagnant because it's toxic. That someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Aries, you have the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Aries, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. Clarify the page of cups for Aries. 
it is clarified with the seven of swords gemini libra aquarius this is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Aries, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Now listen, someone could be trying to apologize for this deception, this toxic situation. Or you're telling me the deception is we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love, making it toxic. Aries, you have the nine of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. It is clarified with the ten of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Aries, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. You know, you can tell me that someone has commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Aries, you can tell me that it's your wish that you guys restore you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. However, you can tell me that things are ending over this deception and this toxicity here. And you may be overindulging, trying to numb out, to just get it off of your mind here, Aries. Aries, you have the four swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the four swords by Aries. Clarify the four swords by Aries. Clarify the four swords. By Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups again. So like I said, could be getting your wish. Could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Like I said, you could be overindulging, trying to numb out because you guys are on a break. You can tell me that it's your wish that things are ending here. However, you can tell me, like I said, you're overindulging, trying to numb out because things are ending in you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Hmm. Or you're just meditating on getting your wish and your wish may be to restore you guys' commitment here, Aries. Because maybe a secret came out concerning you in this deception. Aries, you need to know this right now from March the 13th through March the 14th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.